I'm Mark Camosio, Gunmark TV, and we're here with the rather special Daystate Red Wolf Grand Prix model designed for competition. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, do our usual, so we'll show you it shooting, we'll do some shooting with it, we'll go through all the adjustable features, and uh, we'll do a round up and see what you think. Now, for those who aren't familiar, obviously Daystate are big name in air guns, premium manufacturer. They're known for the, being the sort of pioneers of the PCP in the modern era. And of course, then they've developed um, very cleverly the electronic powered systems within air guns, certain air guns in their range. And they've really run with it. So they've developed the system. They're the only manufacturer producing electronically powered air guns. So yeah, it makes them quite um, fascinating. So starting at the front, now we have added this silencer. This is an optional extra uh, zero decibel um, silencer. Day State put it in with the gun. We've fitted it because it looks so superb, but it, that is an extra. So obviously you, you've got the usual thready cap at the front that we've shown. You've got a, sh a shrouded, fully shrouded barrel here um, with their ART um, selected barrels inside. Um, very sizable buddy bottle. Then you get, it's a 480 cc bottle. You get uh, you're getting sort of between four and five hundred shots per charge um, for, you know, from, from the bottle, so that's pretty, pretty impressive. Um, now this chassis system stock is obviously all designed by PRS, Precision Rifle Systems, and uh, yeah, it's a lovely bit of work. This is the red anodized version, it's also available in black. Um, you've got a Picatinny rail there at the front locked into the rail and then you underneath you've got a, um, a standard sort of accessory rail and we obviously they fit the um, hamster to that um, as we'll show. That's all on there. Moving back you've got Picatinny rails on top of the breech block for mounting. Um, obviously Day State's usual system of, there is a magazine supply, but because this is a competition gun, the emphasis is on single shots. We've got the single shot tray in throughout our test, but yeah, you can use a, uh, a magazine if you want. Um, obviously, this, this is the electronic powered system, so you've got an electronic two-stage trigger here with full adjustment, and adjustments actually are mechanical with an Allen key uh, rather than electronic, which I was quite interested in. Um, you've got a very nice side lever here with magnetic links. It's effortless in, in um, operation. You can switch this over as well. So um, if you look at the, this is technically ambidextrous, the configuration of this, that's on the right side, but you can actually switch the side of the lever the only part that's dedicated, and of course it's an important fat point, is that the target grip is right hand dedicated, uh, but you can get, um, they say aren't doing left hand grips, but they refer you to form rifle stocks and they will do um, the grips and all the elements, uh, but of course they'll do left hand grips for you, so you can, you can do that and you can sort that out. Um, moving back, you've got obviously the electronic isolation switch at the back that, um, that will turn the gun technically off or on as well as being, a, so it's effectively a safety catch, but it's electronic. Um, then you've got the full assembly of the, of the back part of the stock and we'll go through all the adjustments. You've got full adjustment, but we'll show all that to you. So yeah, very comprehensive. So this is, um, it, this incorporates day states MCT, <coughs> Electronic Power Management System. MCT stands for Mapped Compensated Technology, and it basically uses a microprocessor and solenoid to digitally regulate the power, which is pretty clever. Um, and to that end, you've got, I mean, we're showing you a spare battery there. You get the battery, which is stowed in the back of the tube. Um, you just undo the knurled um, black cap there and then your battery is actually inside and when you when you need to charge you've got a charger there as well it's a well established proven system um, now as I say you've got that electronic system in here and part of that is the fact that you've got a display an LCD display here and it's got that system which is again it's been on other guns and it's well accepted now you can program the system by using the safety catch and the trigger and then you can um, make the inside the display you can then have it show the magazine um, number shot number the a running total of um, shots that you fired and there's various other bits of information but also it shows the residual when it's switched on it will show you the residual power the actual pressure of the cylinder as well so it's you've got a lot of information at your fingertips and um, if you're that way inclined you know it's, it's a lot of technology built into this you can see here, I mean, this is all part of the 
PRS uh, made stock chassis system and it's a work of art. This is very high grade CNC machined aluminium and if you look on this whole section, so obviously you've got a fully adjustable butt hook system and then you've got, uh, so we'll, we'll look at that, basically you've got full adjusters, so you've got socket heads, quality socket heads on everything. So these, each of these fins are adjustable, your rod is adjustable, that, that assembly is, a, it will move up and down the, um, the rail there. Again, likewise, you've got adjusters here and all this can, the whole angle of everything and the height of everything can be altered. But the great thing about this, and it's designed, you know, field target is on the remit, and that it allows you to alter the stock mid-shoot, which is a key thing. You can't do that in HFT. But in field target, they want instant adjusters during the course, and you've got that. So, of course, this you'll have configured this for your shoulder. Mid-course, suddenly you're up a hill, you might need to sh just shorten the length of pull, etc., and it happens. And so you slacken that off, that whole assembly then allows you for instant adjustment. So it's very clever, beautifully made. You nip that up and it properly, lo it properly locks it. Now moving to the whole cheek piece assemblies, you can see you've got all these, all, every socket head is basically a, a, a chart, the opportunity for adjustment. So this whole assembly can move along the rod here. Um, the angle of the whole thing can be um, altered. And now on the actual cheek piece, you'll see you've got, as well as the height, you've got screws underneath. You can actually adjust the cast of the cheek piece as well. So you're getting, you can get that scope alignment perfect. Again, if you've got that pretty well right, but you've suddenly got an awkward shot, you, have, you can have a shot right down a hill, right up into a high tree in field target. So you might just think the cheek piece needs lowering to give me a bit of flexibility. You've got a quick adjuster again. So you adjust that, slacken it off, and your cheek piece, you've got plenty of scope on there up and down. So it's, it's beauty, all beautifully made. It's all utter precision, and it just adds to the class of this rifle. So what we've got here, we've got a full-blown match trigger. Now, interestingly, it's an electronic trigger, but the adjustments are all made manually with Allen keys, and the adjustments are many and varied. You can see you've got the shoe, adjustable shoe, which will move up and down the rod. You can change the angle, you can change the height of that, obviously along that uh, pillar, rather. And then the whole of that, um, assemblies on it moves along the carrier bar at the back of there as well so actual positioning of the trigger is um, you know it's infinite but you can also adjust with an allen key the second stage contact the second stage weight first stage weight first stage travel um, you know all in addition so it in other words it's any which way you can and it, it's a it's a, an excellent unit now moving along here also you've got the as we mentioned the um, filler valve you've they give you a nice aluminium magnetic cap and that just snaps into place magnetically uh, that keeps the dirt out and then you get the extended as we mentioned extended valve um, adapter so that you can fit it in there comfortably from your airline all very neatly done then moving along uh, you from this angle you can see the hamster and the standard accessory rail that that then fits within so you slacken off your bolts and it will slide and in case we i don't think we mentioned it before but you've got the m lock um, cutouts there as well so of course for, for further accessories now obviously this Grand Prix is aimed at the sort of field target um, world as well. So uh, we've got it fitted up here with an MTC. It's a 32 times mag, sort of minimum spec for FT, uh, but a nice, uh, quite a nice empty scope. So we've got that on board. We've taken the silencer off um, for this where, um, and I've got the single shot tray, of course, because, you know, it's primarily that's what you're going to use for competition, ideally. Um, so we're ready to go on that. We're going to shoot over, uh, do some grouping at 50 yards with sort of air arms and range master pellets, and um, then we'll shoot some knockdowns.
So there we are, you've seen us out here today. Um, we've put the groups in 50 yards, bit of a breeze, but we still had some damn good groups. Um, in elsewhere, I actually had um, at 40 yards, the best I did was one of the best groups I've ever done, which was literally like a pellet hole, slightly enlarged. And uh, obviously that was in total still air. But yeah, this is clearly up to the job. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an impressive bit of kit. Obviously, three and a half thousand quid is a lot of money. Now, is it worth that? Well, if you look at all the top flight match stuff, it's got some stiff competition. Um, we've got the Air Arms XTI 50, Feinwerk Bell 800, and all the derivatives, LG, um, Walther LG 400, and of course, Stoyer. So yeah, it's in a, it's in a hot market, but if you like day state, then this is, um, you know, they look at what they've done on the bench rest recently. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're a very, um, they're a premium brand right in that division. So it's, it's largely subjective. I'd say get down to your club, have a try. Um, it's definitely got to be on that short list for any field target gun. So I hope you've enjoyed that. So we're Gunmark TV. So if you want to like, subscribe, or click on the notifications. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon on the next one.